and put that oh child she's pigmented ah what's up y'all it's Tati Coconut. I'm back for another video and as you see the title today we're doing like a chit chat get ready with me makeup tutorial I don't know all that fun stuff today was the first day that I dibbled and dabbled in color like are you guys proud of me do you see the green under my eyes hello hi I feel like I literally look like a completely different human being with like I don't know, like strong contour and like the BI. I don't know, girl. I don't even recognize myself, but hopefully, like, y'all enjoy this. I also have a box from BoxyCharm today that I will be utilizing in this tutorial. It really came through for your girl. Like, hello. And all of that information will be in the description box down below. Y'all know that I love them, so make sure you go check them out. And let's just get into this. But first, if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? We're gonna give you a couple seconds to do that. Did you do it? Good. Now you can watch the video and welcome to our family. Also, follow me on my socials. This is where you can participate in polls, all that fun stuff, or whatever. Let's just get into this. Okay, y'all, so I already primed my face and stuff, but y'all know, Boxy Time sent me my December box. I'm literally so excited about it, so I'm gonna just, like, use them as I go, obviously. Well, obviously. We got this. We got this Glacier Water Cream, this Saturday Skin. It's literally huge, so... If you guys didn't know, BoxyCharm gives you guys five full-size products every month. Look how pretty this packaging is. Oh my gosh. I just tried to smell it with the freaking cap on. Woo! It's definitely like a gel consistency. You can like see it on my face. I feel like it might just add to like the dewiness. Like maybe give me just that more of that like glass effect so we got this from brow bar by rima it's literally so pretty gorgeous like oh child that is wealthy i already did my brows but i am gonna put this brow gel on top just to try it out girl what the hell okay i got it dang oh such a pretty chocolatey color let's see so like you guys know boxycharm is 25 dollars a month but the box itself is valued like over 125 dollars so that's why like i'm such a stand also what i like about them is that obviously like you would think like how do they know what my complexion is they literally have stuff where you can like upload your complexion so you get the right products also now like they have a bunch of new stuff going on y'all like this is a good time for y'all to check them out but now i think you can like um pick one like you can pick one of the items that's in your box and then also you can like add on other stuff at like exclusive prices like at the end of your checkout or whatever like they got the deals and more products and stuff now are going to be available for like 80 percent off so y'all need to like swing y'all way over to boxycharm i never know how to say this brand i think it's siate siati whatever y'all know what it is this is what I'm going to be using for my blush from them. Look how beautiful. And then look how cute this is from Storybook Cosmetics. It's a palette. So we'll be using that on our eyes a little later. Now y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but today, instead of doing foundation, I'm just going to use concealers for my skin. I know that sounds dumb, but you gonna see. I know I'm getting ready for Instagram pictures and all that, but like, I don't know y'all. Like, sometimes I just don't be feeling like doing it. The foundation that I have right now is like way too dark for me like girl winter said pink 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 right to my face so i already have my primer on and everything this water cream feels so like sticky so i feel like it's really gonna catch my makeup you know okay so first i'm using cover fx power play concealer in n medium 3 and then i'm also going to be using g medium 2 for like highlight all right so let's get into this chit chat yeah oh and all the boxy charm stuff like the links and everything will be in my description box so go check it out so since we're like getting ready for instagram or whatever i wanted to talk a little bit about it oh also i'm doing this because i have hyperpigmentation down here so it just like i don't know it just blends it out nicer something i wanted to talk about was like literally body dysmorphia only because um i had seen this picture the other day of this girl not gonna name names obviously but when i tell you everything was warped morphed and warped like it was crazy i was talking to my friend and i was like is she joking like not even like uh like ah, ha, ha. like no it seriously was like oh it's a joke because it was so altered that i thought she was joking and it's like i don't know when we got to the point where it's like we can clearly see something is photoshopped facetuned whatever tuned and it's just like okay sis go ahead it's crazy and it's like i'm not against like people changing a little something or adding a little something whatever it is i'm not really pressed about that but like when i could see tables and walls and floors and cabinets warped like 
boot. Like, I can't even, like, how, like, what? It's just crazy. And I saw it, and I was like, oh, my goodness gracious. And I just get concerned because I feel like, and I think I had seen her post the original picture, like, somewhere else and she looked so good and i'm just like so concerned about where we're at right now with like body dysmorphia i just kind of talked about this um not yesterday two days ago in my video about um like how to not compare yourself and stuff like that we kind of touched on like bodies and things like that just a little bit and i'm just like shook when did we get to the point where it's like we have to be woo 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 we got to the point where it's like i don't care that you can clearly tell that i have photoshopped this to the God. I need to be make it seem like I'm body 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 and that's not me judging her because girl everybody do it But I'm just like wondering Where you guys' heads are at? How do you feel about like editing things on Instagram? How do you feel about your body when you see things like this? I'm just like concerned what what level of body dysmorphia does everybody have at this point? Is it a little bit for everybody? It's crazy and at the end of the day like you literally cannot believe anything that you see on the internet I saw Okay. I saw a girl that was getting like harassed by some guy and he was like, oh, send me this or um, I'm gonna post your nudes. She was like, I've never sent you nudes. And he was like, oh, oh really? And like photoshopped her face onto like a nude body. I know it looked crazy, give me a second. No, so he photoshopped her face onto a nude body and when I tell you it looked so real, so believable, undetectable. I cannot believe that. So then I saw people talking about like, this is literally why I'm saying don't believe anything you see on the internet because you think it's just creeps like that that are doing it? No, it's everybody. It just blows my mind. Like, give me the tools, sis. Damn. I don't know. I just be like getting a little concerned. How do we come back from this? How do we get back to the era of like whatever your body is, it kind of is? And I know like that's kind of unrealistic because it's never been like, oh, come as you are. It has never been that. And I'm not going to sit here and like jack that and be like, oh yeah, whatever you are. It's all, it, it used to be that no. But I feel like at a point in time, it, it wasn't just like one body type and don't get me wrong i love that shape i literally i love that shape i just think it's everything is so sexy i love the coke bottle shape i think it's such a beautiful like art i mean i don't have it girl and i never will so <sighs> i don't know it's a it's a wild time out there i just don't want you guys to like see all this stuff and believe it and then be like oh my god why don't i look like that but at the end of the day i don't like when people are like Oh, screw this influencer who like edits so much. That's giving girls unrealistic body. Da 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 da. I get where you're coming from, where it's like okay, like influencers do have like some type of responsibility. But at the end of the day, it's their body. If they want to sit there and alter it or um photoshop a photo before they post it they can do that because it's their page it's not their responsibility to show themselves raw and uncut and all that stuff for the benefit of everybody else because you don't know what type of insecurities they're dealing with at home so i don't like when people do that oh like it's the influencer's responsibility no it's not girl no it's not because people who aren't influencers are editing themselves all the time your peers are editing themselves all the time but y'all say nothing about that but oh influencers can't do it like I don't agree with that. We look crazy, so we're gonna contour a little bit. This is my Bobbi Brown, um, what the hell is this? It's a skin foundation stick in Almond 7. Now I use my 47 foundation brush to blend up my, um, to blend out my contour, and it like literally looks so much better to me, so we'll see. Do y'all see that skin glass at work? Ooh, do I need to be using, Oh, girl. Okay, anyway, I don't think it's influencer's responsibility to have to like showcase their insecurities like to save other people's confidence i don't think that's right they're still human beings like people have just chosen to oh my god am i crazy or am i girl this skin i will be utilizing this skin glass every day anyway yeah i don't think it's influencer's responsibility to do that but i do think it's kind of a responsibility of somebody or some of us to like let y'all know that everything is not what it seems so don't sit there and beat yourself up because nine times out of ten like most people don't have all of that that is something that most of us should be like transparent about but girl you cannot force these people to put their insecurities on show like that to the world just because like that would make y'all feel better that's not fair but i just wanted to like see and like bring that up first so i could get a little check-in and see like how y'all are feeling about this do y'all feel like you have some form of body dysmorphia do you feel like it's because of instagram like let's start the conversation y'all comment down below because i just need to know 
where everyone else is standing on this. So now I want to talk about Kim Kardashian. Y'all know she had that shapewear stuff. So she came out with like nightwear, like kind of like loungewear, pajama type of situation. And people were... Mmm, people were not feeling it. Only because it was like, for the whole set, it was like one something. It was really expensive. So people were like, girl, this little ass set, and you're gonna say this one something? Like, relax. Now here's how I feel. Y'all know that woman Kim is about her business. If y'all thought she was gonna be selling anything for $29.99, you out your mind. You wanna know why? Because she knows you're gonna buy it. We're gonna powder up with our Fenty banana powder. Damn. Y'all have nobody to blame but y'all selves for her price point. If y'all weren't buying every single thing that they come out with, her prices would have to be much lower. But y'all run for that stuff as soon as it come out and that's fine. Like y'all have every right to do that. But then don't complain about the price points because she can make it as expensive as she wants to because she knows it's gonna sell out regardless. So why would you not make it more expensive being a businesswoman? Now me, I might know y'all are gonna buy something but I'm gonna try to put it at an affordable price point because I'm, I have a relationship with you guys. I care. We're more intimate. Kim don't have no relationship with none of y'all. She is a socialite. She is not a anything else that y'all want her to be. She's just not. Do I think that set should be much cheaper? Yeah. But do I think if she wants to sell it as a luxury product, she has the right to because y'all gonna buy it anyway? Yeah. Y'all complain so much about celebrities selling this and oh my god why is it this much money and da, 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 da. when they're literally able to do that because of your habits with them because of your support you think she's making them a hundred and some dollars and they're just sitting in a warehouse shiny 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 yeah uh, i let this win in now we're gonna use our becca bronzer in ipanema sun with my hourglass brush i don't know what brush this is i'll try to find it for y'all and put it in the description now we're gonna use that ciate blush in dusk it's marbled light uh. <laughs> okay it's so pretty i really hope it looks correct on me. Can y'all see it? <laughs> y'all know I used to not be a blush girl and then I kind of converted. Now, speaking of influencers and things like that, I'm over everybody trying to disrespect the influencer community. Now, let me say this. Is it a job that's privileged and also champagne pop from Becca? Is it a job with privilege and like a lot of leeway and things like that? Yes, but is it still a job? Yes. What we're not gonna do is sit here and like discredit the work that people do because I know for, oh girl, wow. I know firsthand that like this stuff takes me hours, especially while being a student. It's a lot of work. Like it's a lot of stuff. Edit, I edit, I do everything by myself. So. Editing takes me hours, filming takes me hours, like it takes a lot especially when you're consistently uploading. Especially for like YouTubers and like content creators that put out meaningful stuff. So like y'all know like I really care about um, the content that I put out. Um, I know other people put out like really strong content, even like um, beauty gurus and stuff like Jackie Anna, I can tell she puts a lot of work into her content or like what she's saying. Like she. It, People put a lot of work into this. I know like sometimes I'll watch her videos and she'll say like it took her four hours to film. Like doing that stuff straight, like that's a lot of work too. Like that's a shift. So like, and then I have to edit it and I have to make thumbnails and I have to make posts about it and keep up with sponsors. Like it's a lot. So like, I just don't like when people be like, well, you're an influencer. It doesn't matter, girl. It's a lot of work, but I'm not going to discredit people who are working really, really hard jobs. Like, I don't know, like long shifts night shifts like physical exerting freaking work like i'm not gonna sit here and compare myself to that at all but i just don't like when people try to like compare it to just like sleeping at home all day okay that's what we're gonna do speaking of jackie we're gonna use jackie's palette and we're gonna use ginger that's always what i put in my crease just goes well with my skin tone and i literally only have to swipe it a couple times y'all go buy that damn palette then what we're gonna do is go back to the storybook cosmetics one what i'm gonna do is put a little bit of forest it's definitely chocolatey. I'm gonna put a little bit of forest in my crease. Just like smoke it out. I use a big brush because I kind of just want it to be like smoky. Yes. Just warning y'all, you need to have a light hand because baby girl. And then, ready for this surprise. We're gonna take this little brush. I think I got this from another BoxyCharm set. I'm gonna go in with this Merry Men on the bottom here and put that. Oh, child, she's pigmented. Ah! Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did not want that much. We're gonna go in with her. 
and put her on the bottom lash line. I can't believe I'm doing color. Like, who am I? Can y'all see the green? Like, can you see it? Because I can't. And then, to see if I like this one in my inner tear duct. She's cute. Okay, I'm honestly, like, I'm scared to do much more. And then, I'm just gonna, like, clean this up a little. That's enough, that's enough. Now, now I'm gonna go in with this Big Ego Mascara that I, again, got from my BoxyCharm box a couple months ago. We're just gonna slap her on the bottom. Then, same combo for the lips. Y'all know I do not change it up. We're gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Versatile Chestnut as a liner. And then, the She Cute from the ColourPop and Bretman collab. Just a little in the center. Oh my god, who am I? Just some anything ass gloss from the beauty supply shop. Y'all always be asking me where I get my glosses from. Girl, go to the beauty supply and get yourself a lip gloss. Now, for my hair, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Honestly, for my hair. Is this cute? I might just leave it like this. Okay, y'all, so that is the final look. Like... This is like the most makeup, I mean, and that's funny too because we skipped foundation, but like this is the most makeup I feel like I've worn. Like I feel like I look like a different person. Hopefully you guys like it. Like I told you guys before, everything that I use will be in the description box below, especially the stuff from BoxyCharm. All that stuff will be down there. Make sure you guys go check them out ASAP. But before I close this out, you know I have to give my shout out of the week. This week's shout out goes to Zanae Hilton. Thank you so, so much for sending me the sweetest message or comment underneath my last video. It literally made me smile. I could cry. I just won't. Well, okay, we got green eyeshadow on. I just want to say thank you so much for supporting me, and I love you so, so much, and that will never change. All right, y'all, so make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. You got a lot to do. You better get to it. And I will see y'all in my next one.